Okay, I finished the live. Now there's all sorts of problems. Apologies. I've been cleaning up after the kitten, doing dishes, <laughs> living my life to my best ability. Jesse Beltran, he is a friend to the targeted individual community. Multiple of the targeted individuals that I have gotten information sent to me from that I did not ask for. <clears throat> I didn't, but folks wanted to share what they were going through. It's always the same. It's your own family. Now, before you start freaking out, how could that be possible? Gregory's report two years ago, 30 grand and a jump drive. 2018, I can load that 802.15.4 under the skin some more. Put it on my cell phone can put thoughts in your head. I can electrocute your genitals. I can wake you up. I can make the lights in your house do stupid shit. It's just an app on a phone. How is that possible? It's only 30 grand in a jump drive. They never know who to ask. I don't think you have an appropriate appreciation for how many of us came before your group. And you told us that nothing we experienced with medical records or not existed. You do it again today, all the time. And you didn't listen either. <clears throat> Nobody did. So don't feel bad. But then when the target, that's the SRA group. But then when the TI group shows up, it's just a bunch of adults who are conning other adults out of their money. And these are people that are already suffering. These are people that have already gotten no answers. And nine times out of 10, the reason they're suffering with their health, their environment, financially, is their own family members that are using these systems. Why are there no hackers out there telling us about this? How much did you say again, Sabrina? 30 grand in a jump drive? Just need one guy with the right kind of clearance or somebody letting him come and go in a database covering his tracks. Think of the side hustle on that. Just in a weekend. $30,000. Let's say five customers in one weekend. Now that's the hackers. What about all the DHS people at the DEF CON helping out on the GitHub, doing competitions for IARPA? How much are they getting paid? And they're even closer with IARPA, the DARPA of the intelligence community, the same people who help the Q bullshit for our nation keep going when it was already compromised. You're in Vegas for DEF CON or Black Hat over the weekend. How many jump drives can you make while you're in between panels? So <laughs> I don't I don't think that everybody gets it. These are jobs the whole time. And as long as you continue to believe in religions, aliens, Santa Claus in the stork, it won't affect me, placebo effect, whatever. They go to work, they upgrade the system, they pay people to go tell you a new UFO ghost story, and the suffering continues. Now... I like Jesse because he's helped a lot of people in the TI community who are truthful. They're good people. And they said, well, it, what the work that Jesse has done allowed them to stop or buffer their own family members from shutting them down. How could your own family just sit there and watch you suffer? Rewind the video. Play it as many times as you need to. And remember, I'm going off of mean, median, and mode. I am not going off of assumptions and conspiracies. This is a system. Engineering. Now, whole number of emails that I've received from TIs. Let's just make it easy. Let's say 200. It's been more than that, but let's say 200. How many of them were military vendors? Let's say 25, like 25 people, so small percentile. And then let's say that with that, we'll take off 10%, okay? 
So 190, I'm doing that right. No, I am right. 180, okay? They are all targeted individuals by their own family members. I'm still doing that percent wrong, apologies. But 20 out of those 200 people, they're military vendors. They literally were hydrogelled, quantum dot, or surgery or something against their will. 20 people out of 200 people. 180 <clears throat> of those same 200 people, it's their own family members who are usually either military, law enforcement, or they bought it for the app on their phone. That is what I have found. Now, follow it through. The targeted individual community for three years has showed up telling me all these things that they cannot get anyone to help them until their family members finally put them behind bars, usually with psychological commitment or defunding them so they can no longer have access to money. And they're often cut off from their own children as well. Okay, so then they're told frequency capture, all these other things, but they have nowhere to go. There's no court of law that holds these systems accountable. It's the same way for the VA and the State Department in Congress earlier this year and last year. So I would recommend a system like Mr. Beltrans, you know, the little transmitter and your, um, I think she said heavy metals report, things like that. If you're dealing with family members that don't want to help you, stop suffering. But on the whole, for everybody, not just the TIs, it's everybody. And they jammed it into our infants, toddlers, and children. They're still doing it. And here on the channel, we're reading MDPI for the classroom, behavioral adjustment in the classroom, my wearable, that's intrabody. That means they're adjusting our children's neurons under the skin. I'm going to leave you an NIH article I just got forwarded about biometric authentication with intrabody communication. That is what I'm being forced to read out loud while grown adults who should know better by now continue to scream at people, literally scream religious platitudes. Love one another as I have loved thee means you tell the truth to your best ability means that you don't stop short while people are selling bullshit snake oil, even if they're doing it out of good, as in they think it works. Education, test it. Now what are we going to do? The damage to our neurology of our children with the masking and the separating and everything, there's no accountability for that either. And we're not able to accept that Melania get the AI K through 12. How? H-O-W. They're under the skin with subdermal surveillance. It's called intrabody communication. And you want to argue with me over a book from antiquity or endless conspiracy blogs and campfire stories. I would say you're not serious about survival. That's what I would say. So. <sighs> it's very heavy for me because I gave up on what you guys all pursue. If you want someone to care about what was done to you. Your trauma is your own. Nobody else is going to care. Except you. And then it's what you do with it. I'm not perfect. I tell people not to watch certain thinking videos or coffees if I'm all cranky, but I use that as a cathartic way to think it all the way through and adjust where I can. Nobody cares about what happened to you. Yeah. But you gotta stop the stimuli. When we moved here and everything changed, I hit the books Till my best friend died. That's how the internet ended up with me at all. I had no interest in talking to anybody else. Why would I? I've been called stupid my whole life. Called names, lied about, everywhere. 
So I was just kind of used to it. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, man. But on this level, intrabody communication is galvanic and inductive coupling. Wait till we talk about the IBM magnetic memory and those photonic networks since the 1800s. Tell the truth. Because human augmentation is next. And it's true. They want to turn humans into synthoids. So the longer we all stand here and pretend that we're permanently in 1985, now going back even further, <laughs> used to say 1995, now, no, 1985. Artificial intelligence aggregates and expands by orders of magnitude when you do hit the throttle for legitimate super intelligence can happen like overnight. What about those of us who are uppity DNA weird and we're like the 15 to 20% that doesn't adhere automatically? Doesn't mean they won't hunt you down. Here on the Synergy Channel, I will continue to push ahead and open up the doors for all of you that thought it was a this and a that and got caught in the rabbit holes. Give the rabbit back to the Mad Hatter and say, I'm just not interested in shoving a bunch of metal under my skin with a remote login that I'll never have access to. You can keep it. I'll use my own neurons and bioelectricity, thank you. We can hang out over here and learn about the different ways to use your own natural abilities to your best ability. Exercise, it's a muscle system. See, she's using her muscles to, no, no, no. Muscle system, lymphatic, breath, all of it works together. Best quantum is between your ears. That's why they don't want to have to go and mine metals for it. They just want to take it right out of their GDP, which they consider to be human bodies, plural. Our 536, amen. Whoever you are on the X that fired off all that crazy, I wasn't even really responding to you. I was just responding generically that we're all human. So for you or me, to go out there screaming at people, telling them they're befouled and, all, and evil and, or I don't know, like all these pejoratives. Your heart is as electrical as mine, is as electrical as somebody in Jibit by Zimbabwe who has no idea what book you are referring to or me, but they're still human. Inherent value because they're breathing and they're human. Love one another as I love thee. Not love one another as the pulpit and the man in between you and me tells you to, or idolatry. When you lean on those words and you don't have your empathy in check, that's Holy Spirit. It's supposed to be running through your divine temple all the time. That's another human being. So I put out a post on the X and I blocked that person. The person was vicious, took it very personally, got super triggered and I was totally surprised. I'm like, what now? So no, I am not gonna argue with other people about the way they love their divine creator. No, that's their business. Kind of like how they spend their money and who they sleep with. I'm going to judge the tree by the fruits it bears. That's my choice. But at this level, if you're still lying to people about telepathy, empathy, precognition, that's neuroscience. God made the body perfectly. The biofield was on the NIH. The same people you claim are Luciferians. They're the same ones that hid the anatomy so that all the Christians out there are wide open for harvesting, for harming, for whatever they want since 1910. They put the anatomy back on the NIH in 2015. So why are you still lying about it? It's easy. We were lied to about our anatomy. We always knew it's just bioelectricity and our own neurons. Why lie about God's creation? 
it's blasphemy to the Holy Spirit. And depending on which version of the Bible you're reading, I'm serious. That is the unforgivable sin in multiple versions. Because to me, Holy Spirit is God's, God's quantum, as in not their stuff, just natural harmony with the biosphere and all of God's creation. And there you are. I don't want any human soul in their holy vessel having their life experience to be standing on these terms. I want them to have an opportunity to take back their own soul sovereignty and body autonomy and make a stand for their own soul. For me, it's on behalf of my creator. I wouldn't be here if God hadn't spared my life and protected me. But for those of you out there that keep doing this, woe to you. And I don't want that for you. So I tried to make it as simple as I could. Everybody electrical. That's why I said namaste, scald, and we. That's a lot of your yoga people and new age folks and other people who just like music and camping. <laughs> well, it's true. Um, I met a lot of them in Vegas. Scald is a Norse term, and we is for the atheists, people who, they don't believe in anything. So they claim, and they may not. All humans, in my opinion, just me, are God's creation, and God loves all of his creation. So, I'm really sorry if you can't understand that, whoever you are. Everybody's heartbeat is measured with an electrical electrocardiogram. I don't know why you're mad at me about that, but that's not magical, and they don't need to put pads on your chest. That's because we emanate biosignals, which is our electromagnetic field. It's just biology, not theology. All right, Mark 536, amen for real this time. That hurt my heart a little bit, folks, I'll be honest. You know, I haven't been able to pray on the channel, I haven't been able to do much because Everybody's gone crazy, and uh, that surprised me. It really did. Anywho, <clears throat> please be supportive of people where you can. Um, Y'all know how I feel about these nano products, and all that goes for the supplements too. By the way, they're not the only ones, and there's multiple ways that you can try, like the bath water, or there's other things, magnetics. Do it, you do you, boo. Nobody knows better for you than you, but. We have got to continue. Do you hear me there? I'm like, eh. we have got to continue loving one another enough to not get triggered and just be like, yo, it's biology. Now we need to talk about it because they've had 30 years to work on it and we still don't have a viable solution that we can hand out to people and reproduce. They're taking us down. They're picking us off. We either admit what they're doing or we admit what they're doing. And those of you that continue the old way of doing things, I hope you'll reconsider for the sake of the people who love you. Juice.